think that's what this is? I, I, that's what it looks like. It looks like... I want to say it's younger from any you. Okay, so this, all right. truck, this truck to FD, as uh, I was just saying it a moment yeah. ago, I think if Fox knows what to do and executes well, then he definitely destroys Falco on this stage. Yeah, I think so. I think it's oh, a lot. My Fox bullied your Marathon FD. I'm sorry, Jason. That was like one friendly. If you're really going to bring that up, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay, yeah. I know Theo does have really good chain yeah. punishes, so. Yeah, right. And that's what you need to do. Yeah. Oh, and also, I wanted to mention something on the first stock. Um, Ooh, wow. Matt, like, uh, threw him off the stage and then, like, immediately committed with, like, the, the drop and double jump down here to punish the double jump. And, like, Matt is Matt is honestly better at that than almost any player around here, punishing that option, which is a really important option to be able to recover. Or to be able to cover, actually. So, uh, Theo going into, like, a modest lead here. Uh, Okay, you know, I, I really hate to see somebody just throw a sock away like that. Um, so he was trying to do like the reaction check base there, and now he's ate it, eating like 42. Okay, so he gets out of it, but he just ate a bunch of percent there. That was like totally unnecessary. But... Yeah, necessary is all relative. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. All right. So, uh, interesting. Why do you think he went to FD, actually? Um, why did, why, like, what do you mean? Which one? I guess, I guess both of these players are feeling good about their punish game. I'm not sure. I'm That's wondering what it comes down to. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like the fact that Fox has such a uh, brutal chain grab on the stage, if you execute, yeah, that definitely matters a lot. But like, Falco can get like 60% off one shine. It kind of depends on how good the Fox is at SDIing out of it. That was a good punish on the forward game. Matt really needs to close the stock out before it gets out of hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. I wonder if that was on purpose, but it worked. Sort of. It worked in a Matt way, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Matt, I don't know. Things that work for Matt don't really work for other players. Yeah. Right. Okay, so there, Theo went for the shine grab, which I kind of questioned, because I feel like Matt is the type of player who's going to challenge you out of shield, like, every time. Um, so I feel like if you should just be like ready to follow up on the shine. So you could like wave shine. You could like short hop aerial and then yep. That's right. Yep. Yep. Matt coughing up a four D and Theo just welcomed him into welcome welcomed him into his arms. <laughs> and then expelled him very unceremoniously. Ooh. That would be where I wanted to see more of what I was talking about with uh -huh. Matt, where he could have just punished like the, the save double jump, because uh -huh. he would have gotten the stock there. It's like, oh, do you think he would should have punished it? Well, like run off double jump down air, or yeah, like run off shine. Yeah, work. yeah, something like that. There are a lot of things he could have done. Yeah. Um, so Theo, Jab instead. Yeah. Theo read the Tekken play, or like kind of tried to call the Tekken play, so he's not built there. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure that was supposed to be a forward bait. Yeah, the Theo's a toner. I know that for sure. So Squibble going up 1-0. Okay, just a second. I need Dropping to take out my phone so I can uh, message uh, Jason Gothier, a.k.a. Infinite Numbers, and tell him that he's super whack. <laughs> All right, Zosa. You're oh. super whack. There you go. <laughs> All right. But here we I, go. Don't want, I don't want anybody to think I'm going to back down from shit-talking Infinite Numbers, but I need to commentate right now. Okay, uh, Makari is hopefully coming in. Uh, yeah. Like to yeah, yeah. So Matt, out. like, uh, taking a second to get his, oh, you know, his calm down a little bit. Like, anybody who knows Matt knows that uh, composure has always been kind of, I would say, the chink in his armor, so to speak. Yeah. That was that was cute. To call it, <coughs> put it nicely, I guess. I like yeah, TL calling out Matt's jabs. That was that was kind of unfortunate. And I think what happened was Theo was anticipating the hit lag from the back air, so he missed the L cancel because of the slight change in timing. And then he ate the up tilt, and well, you guys saw what happened. Yeah, I mean, Theo is looking pretty good. Like, he's definitely looking like he knows the matchup. He's picking good spots. Ooh, interesting hitbox. I'm not sure what that up smash was. I'm not sure what he was calling out there. All right, I'm going to pass it over to uh, Makari. So uh, here he is. Oh, God. He could have, like, so in that, in that laser reset situation. Okay, I mean, he killed him, so it was fine. 
But I think in that laser, the laser reset situation, I think you want to just take the forward smash, like almost always. Because Theo was at like 100% there. One zero scribble? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he's, look, he's looking pretty clean. Um, now it's looking like kind of Matt's clowning on him a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, okay. So he calls out the slow above 100% ledge Was icon. game one close? That was like a one stock in Theo's favor, I think. Okay. But Theo looked, he looked really clean. Okay. Shield drop shine there. Nice dash dance from Squibble. Uh, managed to get in with a mare, but I really, yep. In fact, it might have gotten power shielded. I can't remember what happened, but I feel like even if it did hit, Matt had some sort of uh, defense ready. Yeah. Okay, so now we see Matt, like, moonwalking. It's where, like, so Matt, he starts to do stuff like this when he gets really comfortable or when he's really on tilt. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, kinda, yeah. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so it looked like kind of Theo got put in the Matt.Zone that match. Um, I don't know if you guys know about the Matt.Zone, but it's not a place you want to be. Um, Matt's biggest weakness is that he can put himself there. <laughs> Okay, Yoshi is the counter pick. Squibble's pretty good on this stage uh, across all matchups, but so is Matt, honestly. And in my opinion, Matt is like the Randall God. The um, Randall God? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you've seen any, any of like Gravy stuff. Uh, he, is, I have he, not. he is a Randall God. If ever there was one. Um, okay, I know that also. Uh, Ty, Ty is yeah. Randall. Yeah, Slox is kind of starting to become a Randall god. Yeah, but Matt, I put Matt above Slox. Yeah. Um, and I certainly put Matt above Squibble when it comes to Randall. Um, but Yoshi's as a stage, you know, obviously yeah. it's more than just Randall, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Matt has the lead. Yep. Okay, good call out on the roll there. Okay, so he, that was definitely supposed to be a shield drop. Theo definitely has those. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and I like that he didn't attack when he shield dropped there. You know, he just right. saw just that it was, a, yeah, it was a bad situation. He just got out of there. You can use it as an escape. You can use it as a movement, movement option. You don't know. Uh, that was, that's that's like, really ballsy. The first time I think I've ever seen that laser work for Matt where, like, yeah. he doesn't die right after. That, that. The high end up tilt. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he wanted up throw up air there. I'm almost positive that would have killed. Or, like, up throw back air. Anything, really. Yeah, this is... Matt's kind of running away with this now. I agree. Theo needs to make some adjustments. I like he's he's kind of trying to force it now. He's attacking the shield so much. It's I liked right. the, um, the light shield, or the shield DI from Matt, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. a few moments ago. Double down tilt. You know, it's like, it's weird. I feel like the stuff, the stuff that Matt is good at, he's really good at. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a couple of random little things that he's exceptional at. Yeah. One, kinda, of, one yeah. of which is Randall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think like if you can if you can break him out of that and like just not really try to deal with the stuff that he's good at, then that's when he kinda starts to falter. Right. But like Theo is just kinda chasing him around now, like trying to force it. But he also has this huge deficit to make up, so he really needs to make something happen. True. I feel like Matt just fared the wrong way, I think. So, not, not, nice, I like that. Oh, yeah, I'm this, the there. Okay, almost able to get that third up there. This is pretty even right now, actually. Theo needs, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure uh, Matt could have forward beat there and taken the ledge. To, yeah. Yeah, and like Theo would have really, uh. Would've. I wonder when the last time uh, Squibble beat Matt was, because... Has it been going in Matt's favor, mostly? Uh, Fox Falco, yes. I, I don't think Squibble has beaten Matt with uh, his Fox. Oh, ever? Or like, just not recently? With his Fox, I don't think he's ever beaten Matt. Ow. Damn. Uh, this is, I, I think Squibble would tell you himself that this is one of his weaker matchups with his thoughts. Uh, Falco? Because he was telling me he thinks it's his best. But, really? I mean, like, maybe against Matt it's a little different. And Matt is also good against Fox. Matt is very good against yeah. Fox, but that still, that surprises me because, 
I mean, I think, I think Squibble's best matchup uh, with Fox is... He, he should have landed on the top platform there. Yeah. Uh, he's really good against Falcon and Peach. No, I messaged somebody else. Fucking infinite numbers is shit-talking me in the chat. This is unbelievable. What? He's shit-talking me. He won, like, one friendly against my Marth. After I beat his Fox, like, eight games in a row with my fucking busted Falcon or something. Like, get out of here, kid. Uh, I would like to see a, uh... A, you know, a serious first two, five hundred, uh, wh whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm not playing that kid anymore. He lost my. He lost my respect. Okay. Oh, I like the edge hog there because a lot of players would have gotten off the ledge there and just given it up. You know, they would have like flinched, I guess, and like yeah. hot back air or right. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think flinch is a good word for that. So going on the top platform, that's like the super safe recovery that you really need to be ready for, where they're basically going to get back for free. Uh, nice recovery. And Squibble yeah, I center stage Yeah, I definitely did, Jason. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that kid. Oh, wow. Cute, cute. And then the intentional standing laser to try and snipe the uh, fox. Matt feeling himself. Good sequence from Squibble. I'm like 28, Jesse. Shut up. I'm old as fuck. Nice crouch cancel. And uh, he's in. Matt doing his oh, Matt right there. Zone, ladies and gents. Yeah, no, I'm old. 